In life, there's one phenomenon that everyone in this world has access to, but only a few people know what it is and how to use it. I'm talking about the power of compound interest. This is one of the things that all wealthy people know about, but the majority of regular people don't. Even the greatest investor of all time, Warren Buffett, credits his success and wealth to compound interest, and even calls it the eighth wonder of the world. But what exactly is compound interest? and how can you use it to grow your investments and become financially free? Compound interest means that interest on a bank account, loan, or investment builds up over time. But not exactly in a way that you might predict. Imagine you're investing $100 in a business that guarantees a yearly dividend equal to 10% of your original investment. You may either deposit those dividends straight into your bank account or reinvest them in the business to obtain further shares. Well, if you consider the second option, which is to reinvest your earnings and add them to your original $100 investment, your returns will keep growing over and over again. Compound interest builds upon itself. With a great amount of patience, that $100 can actually become a life-changing amount of money. Let's take a look at this real-life example to explain the power of compound interest, with an emphasis on the importance of starting early. Here we have three people who invested the same amount of money but started investing that money at different times in their lives. We will assume a 10% return for the sake of this example. First, we have Sam, who started investing right out of high school at the age of 18. He invested $500 per month until the age of 65. Next is Jerry. He only started investing at the age of 30, and he also invested $500 per month until the age of 65. Last, we have Ben was a little late to the game and started investing at 50, again investing $500 until the age of 65. So let me ask you, who ends up with more money and how much? Although we all know who wins out, the actual dollar amount just might surprise you. For Sam, since he started very young and had 47 years to contribute $500 a month until the age of 65, his investments grew to be worth roughly $6.4 million. Sam only contributed $282,000 of his own money, but because of compound interest, his investments grew to this staggering amount. For Jerry, his investments would be worth roughly $1.9 million. For Ben, his investment account grew to just a little over $200,000. Those extra years Sam was able to take advantage of are really what makes this incredible difference. Perhaps the most interesting part of all of this is that if Jerry and Ben wanted to end up with the same $6.4 million as Sam, they would have had to invest roughly $1,700 and $15,000 per month respectively. Many wealthy people are fans of compound interest, and one of them is Warren Buffett, who has said several times that his wealth can be attributed to the power of compounding. He is often quoted as saying, My wealth has come from a combination of living in America, some lucky genes, and compound interest. Buffett's first investment was made when he was just 12 years old. Over time, he was able to turn a few dollars into $1 million. By the age of 65, his net worth was $15 billion. And at the age of 88, it was $85 billion. From this example, you can truly see what a little extra time can do. With that said, even rich individuals have noted that it's important to understand that compound interest works in both directions. For example, say you have a large debt that accumulates interest each year. This could ruin your finances very quickly. This is why keeping track of your debt must be one of your top concerns. As soon as possible, you should pay off any debt with high interest rates first, before investing. Examples might include credit card or student loan debt. Going back to the other end of the spectrum, taking advantage of compound interest can be quite thrilling. It's as simple as opening a brokerage account, choosing an investment vehicle, and turning on recurring investments. Brokerage accounts nowadays have $0 trading fees and are easily accessible on your phone. A couple of options include M1 Finance, Fidelity, or Webull. In terms of investment vehicles, you can choose stocks, bonds, or even crypto. But if you want a safe and reliable return on your investment, even the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, recommends the average investor to just invest in the S&P 500. 
The S&P 500 is a basket of 500 of the biggest companies in terms of market cap. And you don't have to invest in one particular stock. Rather, it's already well diversified and all you have to do continuously is invest in it. It's a safe and recommended investment for most people. Over the last 50 years, the average rate of return in the S&P 500 has been 9.4%, not adjusting for inflation. While having a brokerage account is smart, there are other types of investing accounts that take advantage of compound interest that might also fit your needs. Starting with Certificate Deposits CDs. These are certificates provided by the bank, which demand a minimum deposit, but they pay an interest at regular intervals. Once the CD matures, you can get your money. Otherwise, you'll have to pay a fee for taking it out early. An example of this would be you depositing a minimum amount based on the bank's requirement and holding it for a certain amount of time. According to an article written by NerdWallet in November 2022, the average rate of return is 0.71% for a CD lasting one year and 0.83% for a CD lasting five years. This is less than the S&P 500 but you're guaranteed a return. However, you will have to wait until it matures or reaches the agreed-upon maturity date in order to take your money out. Still, CDs are good because you know what you're getting, you won't lose money, and it's most likely FDIC insured or insured by the federal government. Another option is high-yield savings accounts, which often have no minimum balance and provide a higher interest rate. In contrast to most traditional savings accounts, you may need to keep a minimum balance to earn the stated interest rates. According to NerdWallet, the national average return on high-yield savings accounts can be as high as 2%. These rates can depend on the bank and market conditions. As you can see, this is also a way to capitalize on compound interest, but at a lower rate. Similar to CDs, they are FDIC insured, but they're different because you're able to move money in and out, so it's more liquid. Still, both high-yield savings accounts and CDs are just a couple of examples that can take advantage of compound interest. It's important not to forget, the best time to start investing is when you're young, but the second best time to start investing is now. Compound interest rewards the length of time you invest, patience, and recurring weekly, monthly, or annual investments. It's important to know what financial strategies work for you. But I hope this video will help you come together with a good plan in mind. Thanks for watching. Until next time.